Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the triclinic crystal structure. Triclinic means that it's leaning in all three directions. That means that none of the angles alpha, beta, gamma are equal to 90 degrees. There are none of them are equal to 90 degrees. So you can see that here's the angle alpha, there's the angle beta, there's the angle gamma. And so this whole cubic structure is leaning in all three directions which means that if you draw vectors that are perpendicular and parallel to the surface, that's represented by these broken arrows right here, the broken line arrows, you can see this would be perpendicular to the surface, which is not parallel to the z-axis. This is perpendicular to the surface, again, not parallel to the y-axis. And this is perpendicular to the surface, again, not parallel to the x-axis. And then, of course, these two other vectors that are then lying in the plane of the surfaces, again, they're not parallel to the x or the y axis or the z axis in any way. So how do you represent those? How do you represent a vector which is perpendicular to the surface? Well for that you're going to need all three components. The component which is perpendicular to the z x or the z y plane or y z plane which is parallel to the x axis, the vector which is parallel to the y axis, the vector which is parallel to the z axis. So for example this one right here would be represented as sigma that would be equal to x y and this would be sigma x z. With other words any vector that emanates from this plane, for example the vector that's perpendicular to the plane, must be the sum of these three vectors right here and that would be the case for any one of the three surfaces. So in there, therefore we need all nine components in order to represent any vector that's perpendicular to any one of the three surfaces. So you can see you end up with all nine components. And that's, so in other words, if we want to represent the vector which is perpendicular to this plane right here, for example this vector right there, well you're going to need all three components right there. That would be sigma uh, 1 1, sigma 1 2, and sigma 1 3. So you would need all three components here to represent this particular vector which is perpendicular to the surface. And the same for this surface and the same for that surface. You would need these three vectors right here. You would need these three vectors right here. And that's why we can represent that in tensor notation, in this case using a diode to represent what we call a triclinic structure. Um, and that's the best way to represent it. That's how it goes. That's not a very good finish. So let me finish that again. <laughs> so the best way then to, to represent the structure right here via tensor is to say that we can represent any perpendicular vector of any one of the three surfaces by the combination of the three vectors on each side in the x, the y, and the z direction in terms of the three vectors that are parallel to the x, the y, and the z direction. That's how it's done using tensors. That was a little better.